Hey man, welcome to Bar Z. My name is Stan. You know, we've been staying off the ganja and we got on the lathe for a little while and we did uh, some cutting and I'm not going to show you that here in a little while. So you're, you're going to stay tuned hey guys, for that. And this is in the category for pipsqueak lathes and we're uh, just getting to where we're uh, getting set up here. Uh, I got an inch and a quarter piece of... Uh, 1018 uh, cold roll. Uh, I don't recall what size Adam and, and uh, Tom are using, but this is going to be for the low horsepower category. Uh, this is a one horsepower machine. It's a uh, it's a Logan 2555, and I use these usually with collets in them and, a, and use it for a speed setup. But I got a three jaw in there now. And uh, just crank down on my part. I got it in. Uh, this machine actually has a back gear, so I got it in back gear, and I got my torque boost set on my uh, on my VFD. And mind the back gear; it's a little whiny, and I'll try to talk over it. Uh, what we're gonna do? And I've already I've already tried this cut, and my limit is uh, 0.250 on a radius which means I'm pulling out half of, half of an inch off the uh, diameter. Uh, I'm using about 200, uh, I'm running about 250 RPM and with a, with a 10 thousandths per rev uh, depth of cut. So uh, quarter inch deep, 10 thousandths per rev. Uh, let's touch off and I'm going to go ahead and run it all the way into uh, uh, 250 and uh, show you what it does. Okay, touched off. There's 100, 200, and 50. And you really didn't think I was going to do this without pulling, did you? Alright, let's see what the little Logan can do. have it. That was uh, 250 RPM, 0.250 depth of uh, cut, and uh, 10 thousandths per rev. Uh, anything beyond that, we're looking at some chatter, even chucked up tight. Uh, small machine, small horsepower. Um, that's my contribution to your chip control. All right, fellas, that's a little pipsqueak that could. But, uh, and that's just, right now, that's just a one horsepower motor uh, with a torque boost on it. So, uh, and my little VFD, I can, I can feel the torque boost kick in and uh, uh, when, when the tool first engages and then it'll, it'll hold throughout the cut. Um, I, I'm getting a little bit of a built up edge, but I usually keep a little, uh, Tom actually showed one of these in, his, in one of his latest. It was just a little uh, diamond whetstone and just come up on the top of the tool. Pink. There it is. There's my built up edge. Popped off in one piece. Give it a little flattening. Good to go again. These are great for the little touch ups right on right on the machine. Don't even have to pull the tool off. But that little built up edge, uh, it's always going to be there. That's what you're going to get with high speed steel tooling. Alright, 